Hi, and welcome to the Aspiring Actors Guide to New York. Working title. It's the Aspiring Actors Guide to New York. Yeah. Today we're drinking champagne instead of wine. <laughs> Popping bubbly. <laughs> I gotta stop using so many mouth-oriented sound effects. On this show, we discuss what it's like to be a New York actor, what you need to do to pursue your dreams, and uh, we hang out with dogs. It's a good time. There have been some requests from people to uh, actually meet the dog, so... Oh, there's Quinn. Today we're meeting with Quinn. Uh, Quinn's our, uh, our baby. She's, uh, she's the first dog we got as a, as a couple. She's kind of a diva. Smile. No? Okay. This here is Lena. No! Oh! You don't let her lick your face because she's a poop eater. She eats poop on the reg. On a daily basis, she... She hunts down the poop, chows it down, eats it. They're both rescues, but uh, she's more of a rescue because she was so gross when we found her. <laughs> she's still so gross. Today we're talking about audition cuts. You've chosen your song. You've found the perfect song for your audition. And now you show up and you find out, oh, they only want us to sing 32 measures of this song, or 32 bars. Which 32 bars should I sing? A general rule of thumb is you want to sing the best part of the song. You're listening to the song and when it gets to this part, you're like, wait, this, this, this is the best part. Everybody stop. This is the best part of the song. Generally speaking, you're going to be doing the bridge into the last chorus. So for today's purposes, I'm just going to uh, work th through three songs and show you how I would cut them into a good audition song. First off, we're gonna do a classic uh, musical theater audition song, Lost in the Wilderness from Children of Eden. This song lends itself perfectly to the general rule, go from the bridge through to the end. Generally speaking, that's the best way to do an, uh, an audition cut. The bridge starts, Don't you ever watch the eagle fly to the sun and wonder how he got to be so free, etc. So if you go from the bridge through to the end of the song, it's actually 27 measures. Perfect for a 32 bar cut. You're not gonna upset anybody by going over. Generally speaking, they're not counting. They're not hearing the time signature and going, oh, went over, he did 33 bars, not casting him. So generally speaking, if they ask for a 32 bar cut, you're safe doing like 40. Or if they ask for a 16 bar cut and the song happens to be in cut time, you can probably do 32. What? It's crazy. If I had to do 16 for this song, I would start with the what have you got to lose, boy, when already we are lost in the wilderness, etc. Or you could start from, off we go without a warning, running as we hit the ground, etc. I'm not really using Lost in the Wilderness anymore, uh, just because I've heard too many other people do it. That's not to say that it is overdone, but it might be overdone. Everybody kind of has their own things about songs that other people do. I tend to, if I hear a handful of people do it, if, if I hear one person do it better than I do it, then I will take it out of my book. Next, we're gonna start with Hey Jude. Um, hey Jude lends itself perfectly to what I like to call a blue ball cut. <laughs> and I love this term. I made it up, trademark Kyle Jurassic. A blue ball cut is when you desperately leave them wanting more because the song doesn't resolve. If you can leave the people in the audition room uh, singing the next part of the song that you didn't actually sing, I think, it's, I think you did a good job. At least going to be memorable. If I were doing the song Hey Jude in an audition, I would start with the bridge, like you do. So let it out and let it in. Hey Jude, begin. 12 seconds later. Better, 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 better. Ah! And end it right there. Because now everybody wants to go, na, 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 na. But you won't go, na, 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 na. You let them go, na, 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 na. Yeah, if you find other songs that do a fade out, most songs that do a fade out are perfect for a blue ball cut. Sometimes there will be songs that you think are perfect audition songs, except Poopy. It's a duet. You would like to do this song as an audition, but obviously you can't bring somebody into the audition room with you because that's frowned upon in that, in that they won't let you do it. For this example, we're going to use It Only Takes a Taste from Waitress. If I were going to use this song in an audition, if there were another show that it were perfect for, um, I probably wouldn't use it 
if I were going in for Waitress. I have. I did actually sing the song at a Waitress call once. Obviously, I didn't book wa Waitress, so, you know, choose your own adventure. If I were going to use this song for an audition, I would just start from, uh, She bakes the pies fresh every day, like you, I guess. But I must say, if pies were books, yours would be Shakespeare's letters. You remind me of her, but better. Burn it, burn. It only takes a taste when it's something special. It only takes a taste when you know it's good. Sometimes one bite is more than enough. To know you want more of a thing you just got a taste of. Bow, now, bow. And just leave it at that. This is a perfect example of a tiny song or a nuanced number. We talked about this last week. It's your tiny song. It's your nuanced number. Um, it's a very good song to showcase your ability to be subtle. But It Only Takes Taste is a difficult song to cut to, to a audition song because you're cutting around a completely different person. And you'll find that a lot in if you're ever trying to audition with a duet. Sometimes it's a perfect choice because people are going to look at a duet and be like, oh, I can't use that because it's a duet. But you can if you cut around it well enough. Anyway, I think that's all I have for you this week. Uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, write in the comments below if you, uh, if you have any questions or concerns or you need to make fun of the way I dress or uh, you know if you miss me wearing suits all the time. You know, just leave a little comment and maybe I'll start wearing suits again. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, next week we're going to start a series called Ace the Audition. Uh, I'm going to give you tips on how to conquer your nerves, how to choose the right audition song for a, a specific show. If you like this channel, subscribe. I'll be releasing new episodes every Thursday at 3 p.m. Thanks for coming out. Chase your dreams. <laughs> Drink a champagne. Doing that thing. Champagne for my real friends. Real pain for my sham friends. Cheers. Have a good one. I'm a little, I'm a little drunk. I'm not. I'm not drunk. Don't tell my mom. Cheers. <laughs>